Hello, we go to Tobago and dance to some jazz like my guest is doing on set with me this morning. Jazz, the two of us, is coming up, but there is a new venue. And to tell us more, Marilyn Hunt, the promoter of the event, is joining us on Now this morning. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Ainka. Thank you so much for having me. Technically, it's a welcome back because we were very much gung-ho about that Tobago Jazz Weekend, excited about all the things that are happening. Yes. And this event kicks things off, but Correct. with a little bit of a twist to things. Tell me first and foremost, uh -huh. why the change? We are heading to the fairways now? Yes, we're heading to the fairways restaurant and launch. Actually, we're doing this because logistically it made a little more sense to move. We're still in Lowlands, right. which is good. We're still in the Lowlands area. But we made the change because there's so many moving parts of our event that we needed one space that could accommodate it all. And um, fairways is that space. Yeah. Now, those moving parts means that it's a dynamic show we're going to experience. Correct. So tell me about some of those moving parts then, at least with the performances. Performances, when all right. When we talk jazz, we can mm -hmm. get into so many instrumentalists, vocalists. Correct. How does the cast look for this time around? Any changes there? No changes. No real changes. We have, well, there's something I have to tell you about, but... I, it's a mystery guest. Let me just Ooh. keep it a mystery guest. Okay, okay. Yes. Surprises, I like it. That's <laughs> right. We have Hanif Goodridge, a panist, who's going to be on. We also have, oh, he's an amazing panist. I'm just thinking about him. We also have uh, Nisha Guy, a former Digital Rising Star winner. She is fantastic, a vocalist, as you may all know. Then we have Kairi Kaisu. They're doing all aspects of jazz, huh? so we're doing Kairi Kaiso is going to present that fusion between Kaiso and jazz. Right. So that band is led by Marvin Newton. They're going to be on the set. Then, let me see, who else is on? So many people, Theron Shaw. Mm -hmm. The amazing Theron Shaw, world-renowned jazz guitarist, and he is the leader of the band that's going to be accompanying the next person I'm talking about is Kairi. Nice. I mentioned Kairi Kaiso. Right. And now I'm mentioning, mentioning Kairi. Kairi is the Canadian violinist who's coming in for that show as well. Yes. Yeah. So lots of strings, a lot of musical instruments coming lots together. Lots of stuff happening. Oof. Get you with that moving parts. But other elements that might have required that space change, or as you say, uh -huh. logistically makes more sense. Tell yes. us of some of the other surprises, if you will. Yes, it's an unusual show because it's not just jazz. Um, it's jazz and art. We begin with um, what essentially is a sip and paint. We're calling it a paint and jazz session. Yes, it's led by Halcyon Pear. Um, Marcy Bridgewater is also going to be assisting on that. I am a painter, so I'm also going to be working with them. And right after the paint and jazz, we have something special for you. Are you going to tell us that special thing? Well, this is another, this is another <laughs> surprise? No, no secret here, All but right. it's fun. Because we, we're trying to celebrate 100 years of jazz, from the 1920s, that's the roaring 20s, to the 2020s, we plan to have a jazz parade, like New Orleans style. Really? Yes. And because Fairways overlooks the golf course and there are those roads right there, we're going to do the jazz parade right outside there. It's led by the Tobago Pathfinders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once you finish your paint and jazz and you participate in that jazz parade, you come back into the venue and that's when the concert begins. Such a great combination. It is a fantastic, yes. as you say, experience. It is. And I don't think it's going to be just the two of us because a lot of people are getting ready to head over to Tobago for that <laughs> event. It's certainly going to be a it's spectacular It's going to be one. fantastic. This, of course, is all part of celebrating, as you said, 100 years of jazz, yes. but also World Jazz Day coming up in terms of right. observances. So beyond this particular event, will there be any other facets that you will involve yourself in in that World Jazz Day celebration or observance? I think we have a few things planned. Mm -hmm. You want me to share all the secrets? I'm trying my very best. <laughs> <laughs> I've spoken to one or two other artists. I'm trying to do a show with upcoming artists, people who have not been featured before. Uh, can't call the names yet, but okay. that show is coming up in October. 
Um, and, but before that, I have a visual arts show, because everything for me is art and music. Visual arts show in July from the 6th to the 10th. And then we have that this other jazz thing in October. So wow. yeah, there's more happening. I'm loving it. I love that you continue <laughs> to create spaces for jazz to thrive. That's because it. there's a reason that we are celebrating 100 years of this type of music. The genre itself is spectacular. But do you really feel, and this is just personal opinion, mm -hmm. As much as we do have the Tobago Jazz Festival taking shape in different forms, if you will, yes. do you feel as if the Caribbean as a region altogether, especially Tobago, has actually given jazz the flowers, so to speak, that it deserves? The genre itself, do you still think that it is underappreciated? It definitely is. And the reason that we're doing this is because we wanted to add some authenticity to the whole jazz arena. The fact is that I attend Tobago Jazz every year, and I have found that it's uh, R&B and jazz, or anything else than jazz. Mm -hmm. While our show is going to have a lot of fusion, we want to let people know where jazz began and what it really is about. We even ask you to dress up like here in the 1920s. So you're going to be like flapper girls and guys in fedoras. And Feather boas and gloves. Of course. And oh, yes. They hold shebang, gloves. Just the dress. <laughs> <laughs> and in that case, I look forward to seeing your hosts dressed in theme as well. We'll see how that goes. I have the most amazing male host. Do you really? I do. That's I have two it. hosts. <laughs> there's a, a lady called Cindy Daniel, and then there's a gentleman if you want to call him that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we know Rock is going to do a great job. Rock is going to be awesome on that show, of I know course, it. Of course, of course. Giving the people what they need, the energy I, and the vibrance. I jazz. asked Rock before I got the artist. <laughs> I'm serious. We know what we're doing. That's right. Well, we're heading to the fairways. And in the case of the persons who are yet to get their tickets, where can they do that? Oh, at any cache outlet. Mm -hmm. and, and from any of the um, team members, I think we had our, some of the numbers, but I'll give you 714-9370 mm -hmm. or 349-2904. It's happening Although, next week, Thursday at the Fairies. Right. Jazz, the two of us, the event is on. And All the elements coming together to make sure that we appreciate a genre that is celebrating a century of spectacular performances. We are excited. Rokas is ready. The fit will be immaculate. <laughs> And hopefully Correct. we'll have you back later on in the year as we have more events celebrating the music of jazz. Thank you so much. I'd love to be back. An absolute pleasure to have you, Miss Marilyn Hunt. The brains behind jazz, the two of us happening next Thursday as we get ready to head to Tobago and enjoy some music. We're going to do that on the break and be back after these messages, guys.